Okay, Debbie. You got this. Looks like we know what happened to an informant. Boy, howdy do we. Ghouls, huh? Mother fucking ghouls. Some of them have a... You know, the one... The, they're not all bad. One runs a taco stand in London's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I think you mentioned him at one time. What, what was his name? Dante, yeah. Yeah, Dante. He's got some good... meat. In his tacos there. Yes, that is definitely good meat. Very good meat. Also some kind of sautéed cactus thing that it was interesting, but I wouldn't really recommend it. Ghouls are scavengers by nature, so let's see here. It looks like they're digging through this construction site. Oh, that's, uh, that's people. Oh, God. That's a lot of people. Oh, my God. That's cultists. Oh, oh, okay then. Never mind. Wait a minute. Why are, why are the ghouls attacking the cultists? I mean, is it like an enemy civil war going on? Could be. Or maybe they just, they're just, you know. Maybe they just hate everybody. They are ghouls. <laughs> Yeah, those are definitely dead cultists. Huh. So these are definitely... Oh, oh look, look, that one guy just got really completely lost in his job until he noticed all of his friends were dead. <laughs> Time passes, first in centuries, then in millennia. Their dance stays the same. Financial acumen and preternatural terror. A hidden empire, a seedy dominion, Cairo is theirs. Initiate the now. Politicians and law enforcement think they rule society. They cannot see their own puppet holes or the desiccated hands jammed inside. Civic planning, excavation rights, gambling, prostitution, black market trade. All of these belong to the kingdom and they offers access to it for the right price. So like the cultists were trying to take the hotel, but the ghouls seem to have done them in. Huh. You think... You think the ghouls might be working for the kingdom? I mean... That's entirely possible. There is like a really strong sort of undead motif here. And, like, those two working together, that would just fit right in. Uh, ghouls aren't really undead, I don't think. Oh! Huh. No. Didn't know that. Ooh, that one's not been working out. Yeah, some of them are like... that. They're like pinky demons from the original <laughs> game. <laughs> oh. oh god, yeah, I remember those. Yeah, I didn't play Doom a lot, because, like, you know, my parents didn't like the violent video games or whatever, but, like, I've always admired Doom, because they've been going on for, like, 30 years, and they haven't really changed their enemies, just in every game, they just give them a new, scarier redesign to fit the current, I don't know, zeitgeist. Why well, fix it ain't broke. Yeah, I mean, that's what they were doing when they made Doom 3. Oh, yeah, that... Yeah, because we, the Doom audience, wanted it to be a stealth game. That was a big one. Oh yeah, yeah, he was an absolute unit. <laughs> you know, it's a damn shame the apocalypse happened, because this would be a really nice hotel. Yeah. It's a lot nicer than that apocalypse motel back on Solomon Island. That that place just sucked. Never going back there. Well, they're, using, they're using axes made. What are those axes made from? I don't know. It look like road signs, maybe. I'll look a little closer once I finish killing them. 
Oh, they're... They're saw blades. Huh. Lashed to a piece of wood with barbed wire. Okay, I've got to give that to the ghouls. That is the most metal thing I have ever seen. Holy shit. Oof, this one fell. Hmm. So the ghouls were kidnapping people from the town. Huh. Maybe they're like scavenging people. But, like, there's something that doesn't fit here. Why do they kill all the cultists? Or like, or were the cultists actually, or did the cultists kidnap the people, and the ghouls just took over and didn't free them? Huh. I mean, that kind of makes sense. Is is anyone here still alive? I can't really tell. Yeah, these guys. Oh, okay, that's good. Those three triplets with their identical shirts. <laughs> I was trying to do like a Huey, Dewey, and Louie for people from Arabic countries, but it just started sounding really racist in my head, and so I didn't. <laughs> oh god, yeah. Yeah, probably a good decision. In fact, remember kids, if you feel yourself about to say something that you think is going to be racist, just, just, just don't say it. Don't be racist. Easiest thing in the world. Just don't do it. Yes, if you're say if something you're about to say, if you're, you're about to say something and you think, is this racist? Yes, it probably is. Don't say it. And whatever you do, don't say, I'm not a racist, but, and then say whatever you're going to say anyway. That is double racist. Uh, here's like a circular saw. Wow, for a bunch of ghouls, they are like... Very creative and industrious. Almost ingenious. Yeah, they have... I mean, well, ghouls are near human intelligence. Really? I did not know that. Yeah. Like, they're smarter than chimps. Our wisdom flows so sweet, taste, and see. Transmit, initiate, ka, signal. Receive, initiate, the ba, syntax. It keeps going and going and going. Initiate the going forth by day lexicon. Three can keep a secret if all of them are dead. The necrotic prerogative. Witness the kingdom. Ah, oh, just cultists in the dark. Cultists in the dark. Hmm, what if that guy's in charge? Oh yeah, guy, guy standing up in the balcony. Nine out of ten, he's in charge. With a what the fuck is that on the s on the pole? Oh wow, looks like a voodoo doll of a clansman. Can think a few people more deserving. Try to try to grab hold of that when you're done there. We got, I got some swords and we got some voodoo justice to dispense. He's wearing some pretty tattered clothes. See, see, yeah, these are the smart ghouls. Some of the ghouls are smarter than others. Yeah, I can see that. These ones have mastered the technology for to wear pants. And magic. Well, yeah, that too. But I mean, I'm more impressed by the pants, because now I don't have to look at the naughty bits of a ghoul. Ugh. What is this thing? Oh, that is that that would be a that would be a mummified human head. Okay, that's a head. 
That is that. That's what they do. Never thought I'd be nostalgic for the zombies, but here I am. Oh shit! What the hell is that? Come on, guys, get out of here. I like that you just fire off a shotgun right at the cage. <laughs> well, you know, my... My magic bullets, they don't... Or magic shells, they don't really... They don't hurt something unless they want them to. Well, I mean, yeah, granted, but like, the optics on it. Okay, I'll punch the next one, okay? <laughs> will, that be ha will that make you happy? Actually, yeah, I mean, that'll look way more awesome. Yeah, Joker fart. Instead of like I punt, instead of like I sh I shot at them and managed to have the have the shells somehow free bro break the lock without hitting a single one of them. <laughs> That's pretty badass. Well, yeah, but I mean that that could just be an accident, you know? It, it'd just be like the miracle, you know, in, in, in Pulp Fiction. True. <laughs> yeah, the holes were on, some of the holes were on the wall before they actually fired. Uh, what are you, cinema sins? Come on, that, that's just a, a movie mistake. It happens. Is it? Yes. Or does it mean something? Dun dun dun. See there, punch it. Oh, okay, yeah, that was cool. I like that. Okay, so cultists are dead, but people are in cage. But like regular people are in cages. There's something. So, like, even the ghouls can tell there's something different about these humans, but. Yeah. There's something I'm missing. I hate that feeling. We just know that there's. Well, it's like you know that there's something you're forgetting, but you've forgotten what it is you're supposed to remember. Yeah. We call that Neville Longbottom syndrome. Jeez, guys, go down already. That's what you said last night, sailor. Oh, see, that one had that one had like nails stuck in it, or glass. Oh, yeah. Mm. Ow. Yeah, that hurt. But I, I barely even notice it anymore. I like, I think like my I've become like super tolerant to pain. Huh. That's really interesting. Yeah. But yet you're still now getting hurt by jumping, and you weren't before. Yeah, that's the weird thing. Do you, do you think it, it's your B that's making you more tolerant to pain, or is it like you've gone through so much shit that now you're more tolerant of your pain, uh, I guess regardless of your B? What do you think? I think that's, I think that's what it is. I've been gone through... So... Wait, but that makes me wonder what kind of physiological physiological changes I might have absent the bee. Ooh, yeah. That could be really nasty. Yeah. Oh man, hope it hope it never comes to that, honestly. Oh god. I don't know what it is about these things, but they do not smell good. It, well, it's probably their diet of rotten flesh. Y yeah, okay, yeah, there, there is that. That's a factor. <laughs> and the fact that they that they actually roll in filth in order to... No, not, not that kind of filth. They roll in, like, awful in order to, you know, make their... That's that's only like one step above the actual filth. So they make their like so their hands can give so their claws can give diseased like <laughs> you know, kinda like Komodo dragons. Pro tip sneeze on your knuckles before a fist fight to inflict poison damage on your opponent. Like that, yeah. <laughs> In fact I believe that most people who get scratched by a ghoul probably die with within a couple hours. Uh, 
Dante wears gloves. Oh, okay, good, good. So that was just like the the regular taco shits I got, not fighting off ghoul flu. Okay, good. I mean, are we sure these aren't just regular zombies? Because this is looking very, very World War Z. They're smart. I guess. Well, like, smarter, you know what I mean? I mean, what even are ghouls? Are they, like, demons? Are they natural things? I, I don't know. I don't know. They seem, like... Pretty sure they're supernatural of some kind, but... Like... Nothing should be able to survive. Nothing this big and strong should be able to survive on purely rotten meat. Gross. There's like an energy thing there, I think. That's a scientific term, an energy thing there. Yes, I, I, rem I remember that from the academic journals of Dr. Bill Nye, the science guy. Sounds they make get to me more than the smell. It almost sounds like it's almost human, but it also sounds almost like a pig, you know? Yeah. Oh. Now this is the animal farm bad end, or somehow worse end. Oh God! Why did you do that to me? Well. I just pictured an Animal Farm dating sim, oh, okay? Oh! Oh! Why did you- How did you- Oh, no! Why did you do that to me? What? You have done that yourself! <sighs> and that's a- That's a- that's a, that's a hell portal. That- That is a big eye of Sauron right there. That's definitely a hell portal, and that's a gem. Oh. Uh, are- Are there wishes? Do we have to split them? They do not do. They do not give wishes. Oh man, goddamn Disney and their campaign of disinformation! Whoa, that was the first time I ever actually run into one in their full form. Holy shit, though! It's made of fire. Oh my god, look at its fucking arms! It's got like giant Popeye gorilla arms. They're almost as long as the rest of its body. Oh my god. And his spikes coming out of the elbows, too. Yeah. That's neat. Yes, it is. Yeah, like, I was thinking more like Freddy arms. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's got them Freddy arms. Yeah, that fits way better than a Popeye. And, wow, just... That was a mean genie. <sighs> Thank you so much. I've been locked up for days. I was on my way to meet Miss Osorio when the cultists grabbed me and brought me here. I don't know what happened next or why, but these, these beasts came out and killed everyone. I was sure I was going to be next. Huh. Your assistance is greatly appreciated. I will not forget you in my report to the Council. So I was right. The ghouls kind of... Huh. You, you think the djinn had anything to do with that? I mean, that just... Can't be coincidence. Let's see what KG has to say. Oh good, she always has such useful advice. Snatching a council envoy right off the streets. You can't help but high-five the audacity. The presence of the djinn explains the presence of the ghouls. They tend to tag along. But the djinn themselves aren't really supposed to be here. Of course, I'm not supposed to be pushing 30. Shit happens. We don't know what this gen was expecting to bargain for with this council chip. I expect he was under the mistaken impression that Venice actually has the power to grant things. Boo. 
Wait, the gen was looking for a wish? Maybe it's like a quid pro quo thing. You know. Us? Like, the genie helps the cult with something. Weird. And the cult helps the genie with something. Or the other way around. Well, see, 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 I, see, I, I was right. The cult, the, they weren't working with the cult, cultists. That's true, yeah. Also, good to know, genies attract ghouls. Bad combination. Oh, they work together. I mean, like, I regularly talk to a gentleman on Twitter, but he's he's been in a human form for a while. So I've did, never seen one in their full form. Yikes. Yeah, that was... Oh, frightening. <laughs> so who brought... So was Jin working for somebody or working on its own? Well... Like, Jin are, like, powerful, independent creatures. I think, like, the Jin was working on its own, and the cultists tried to, you know, get a deal with them. But now we kill all the cultists. Well, no, I mean, the ghouls kill all the cultists. Well, the ghouls are working for the Jin. I thought they were just, like, attracted to the Jin. Like, you know, I don't know. No, they, they, I think it was working. I think, I'm going to assume well, it was... I'm... Oh, hi, Og the Ravenous. Oh, wow. That's a, that's a very welcoming name he's got there. We've said absolute unit enough times here, haven't we? Yeah, it's, we've said it a lot. Chonk, maybe? No. Um, I don't know, how about like, damn, he thick. We used that, I think. Have we? I don't know. Maybe, maybe you're just getting confused. I've been looking at a lot of pictures of Thanos lately. He's thick. He is thick. Snap me, daddy. So, like, like KG said that the djinn just attract the ghouls. So, I mean, it seems to me that, like, you know, they're just sort of following and like, attracted to his power I think they work for the djinn. Otherwise... Well, I mean, I don't know. They could just be, like, hangers-on, like, feeding off him, like, parasites or... But still, the djinn would be using them. So let's just assume they're working for the djinn. Um, okay. Okay, yeah, that... That, that kind of makes sense. So... The cultists wanted to deal with... So the cultists were killed by the djinn... By the, by the djinn. Yeah. Maybe. Probably. I mean, it wasn't really, you know, the, the djinn doing. Though, was... Well, by the, by the ghouls working for the gem. Right, but I mean, like, something that powerful. I mean, why does, why does he need ghouls to do his dirty work? That doesn't really... Just let me have this one, okay? Okay, but just like... I don't know, something just seems off about it, and I don't know. Well, you got a better idea? At the current moment in time, I do not. Oh, wait a minute. I just realized something. Oh, what? What you got? Who have we known to use just a horde of monsters as a tactic? Um, Beaumont? But... Well, I mean, like, okay. Think specifically as an assassination method. The kingdom. Yeah. Oh my god, it was the kingdom all along. Yeah. And then must have kept them captive to use the bargaining chip with the... With... With the djinn? No. What? With the council. Oh. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. Jeez, try to keep up today. Well, look. I would much rather make a deal with an evil djinn than the council of Venice. That's just me. No, but now he worked for... The council was working for the... Wait, the the Jin was working for the kingdom, who and the ghouls are working for the Jin. Yes, I think that's how it works. Oh, I have doubts about many of this. It's a working theory, okay? Fine, it's the best we got, so let's go with it. Why not? <laughs> Oh my 
God, it even had a pool in Egypt. Man. Yeah. Wow. I, uh, I know I'm a bee and I have all sorts of healing abilities, but I think I'm going to need a tetanus shot after this. Yeah. Y you may need to just get, like, a bucket of tetanus shots and just start, like, eating them. <laughs> so, my guess... My goal leader. I have to find the ghoul leader now. Let's see who leads the ghouls. And brought the... Who must have been working for the gym or something. I don't know. Whatever. Everyone was double-crossing everyone else. That's like how 90% of things go here. Yeah, I mean, the, the world of these secret societies, you know, it's basically like... Whoa! Whoa! whoa what the wh fuck? Whoa! Holy shit. I so but yeah, basically, like, standard operating procedure in one of these societies is like the plot of a Metal Gear game. Metal Gear game, huh? Yeah! It's a Metal Gear game, Snake! Just like one of my Japanese animes. But no, it's like, what, you know, no one has any idea what we're doing, and whatever you think we're doing, you're wrong. Oh. Come on. Come on. Hey. Yeah! But now, let's see. As I was saying... If my theory is correct... Then... Someone from the kingdom might still be here, maybe? Yep. And... Oh... And oh look, it's my, it's my friend Saeed. The Dapper Dead struck the streets of modern Cairo in Armani suits. There are levels of panache the breathing never achieve. In the deep shade they tickle the strings, kingpins of Egypt's criminal underbelly, hidden, fearless outside the bounds of any faction. No rules save what they create. Number three. Their chests are hollow, but their rib cages pound with lust and debauchery. These embalmed princes pursue the one sanctity left in the world, money. They are the kingdom.